there are three points I think that I would like to summarize here in terms of how uh, to break the cycle. First is um, we really need to look at the underlying drivers and local context uh, in terms of uh, determining how we, we should manage the fire. Yeah, so there is no one size fits all formula uh, in my mind. Secondly, I think uh, the clarity of who pay the cost and how is needed for effective uh, fire management due to land uses, for example, in the case of tropical pit fire. The third one, I think linking this with the payment for ecosystem services scheme in terms of uh, incentive mechanism, et cetera, uh, will be one uh, effective uh, vehicle towards uh, breaking the cycle of climate change and wildfires. Let's take Indonesia, for example, because Indonesia is the country with the largest tropical pitland area in the world. Um, so that regarding fire that has happened in these areas really actually produce a lot of, uh, 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 produce significant uh, carbon emission and also cause uh, hazardous impacts over the years, including transboundary smoke and haze. It, it comes with huge costs uh, actually. Uh, and the prevention can be done in terms of changing the means of land clearing to zero burning, yeah? and also avoiding fuel availability by maintaining the wetness of the vegetation and peat. On peat land, this can be done by blocking canals to keep the water table high enough and prohibiting the building of new canals. Uh, there are policies that ban land clearing without burning. However, uh, for smallholder farmers, often complying with such policy is not feasible since burning is the cheapest way to prepare their farms that they can afford. Therefore, a system approach that address rural livelihood in finding solutions to pit fire prevention needs to be in place. So in a recent paper that I co-authored, we showed that farmers can still generate a higher profit in clearing their, line, their land without fire if they can apply good agriculture practices programs uh, and government policies that can facilitate good agriculture practices in conjunction with zero burning policy can increase the effectiveness. Also partnership between large scale landholders and farmers in applying mechanized land preparation can also be an alternative. The other uh, way is that a management practice that combines trees with other many species that is uh, agroforestry system can help maintain soil humidity and uh, micro temperature, and therefore can be promoted as smallholder farming system, which then can be linked as well to payment for ecosystem services. <music> 